The Diamondback Hook bicycle has arrived in the mail. So I'm gonna put it together here. Shouldn't take too long, but let me get at it. So these are typically super easy to put together. It's their ready ride type of bikes. You usually just put on the front tire, your handlebars, your seat, do some minor adjustments, fill up your tires like you want, and it'll be good to go. So it shouldn't take but 10, 15 minutes to get this thing together. So I've got all my parts here, pedals, Here's the bike, front wheel, got my seat here, so let me throw all this together, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, got off all the packaging now, as you can see it came pretty well wrapped, which I prefer, no damage or anything to the bike and components, so let me get cranking here. All right, besides any mods and later tweaks, it's mostly together. I gotta pump up the tires a little bit, put on the seat cover, the light, other little basic stuff, but mostly I'm gonna keep this stock and keep it cheap. It's a, I wouldn't say it's a total value bike, but it's not high end either. I think it's a good value for sub $1,000. So let me do some little tweaks and stuff to this and I'll take it out. And I'll let you know how I like it. Put a couple cheaper lights on here from Amazon. Still gotta put one on the back. The seat's not bad, but I'm gonna put on this aftermarket gel seat cushion just to protect it behind on the trails and riding around. All right, day one with the Diamondback hook went pretty good. Figuring everything out. I you heard your little fish and didn't catch a thing, but the bike went well. Get used to the 27.5 inch tires. My first time using those. I'm used to a 29 inch wheelbase, but it's all good. Might be a little night riding, so I got the lights ready to go. I will keep you updated. Day one initial thoughts on the Diamondback hook. So I'm getting used to the 27.5 inch tires. I'm used to having the 29 inch tires on the Diamondback Overdrive series, which I've had three of over the years. But this current particular year, they didn't have any cool colors that I liked. So I went with the Hook series, which is very similar and a little bit cheaper, depending on which one you get of the Overdrive series. But um, I almost wiped out on these tires. I hit a little ATV mark in the mud and I almost Flew off my bike, I was coming around a corner too quick, just not being careful. But I don't think that would have happened with the 29 inch tires, not too sure, but I'm gonna have to get used to these smaller size. Hey, at least they're not 26 inch tires, right? So pretty good, gear shifted fine. It's only, uh, I think eight gears or whatever. So for a lot of people that's a problem, for me it is no problem, I don't really care. As you can tell, I'm not a bike snob. This is not a professional bike reviewing channel or anything like that, I'm just kind of a casual bike dude that has a lot of different hobbies and stuff like that as you can see on the channel but so far so good with this bike especially for the price i think i paid like under 600 including taxes so no big deal but yeah i like it rode well so far i'll keep you updated on the mods and things i do to it i'll probably ride it once every week or or so on the weekends just out on the trails going fishing and stuff like that so stay tuned out here for another ride at the area we call Turtle Bridge. Look at all that, look at all these turtles. Look at all these turtles, that is crazy. They're all just like chilling. Out for another ride, had the bike about three weeks, still doing a few things to it, but the bike's been treating me well so far. Initial thoughts, I'd say so far so good, no problems. All right, I've had the Diamondback hook about a month now, a little over a month. So far so good, I've got minor upgrades on there, which I'll do in another video maybe. 
maybe I'll do another longer review later, but so far so good. No issues with it, no fails. I ride it about two to three times a week. Just some small upgrades on there, like the caps there. A couple little things here, some lights. Plenty of light seat cover. Nothing too crazy, I'm a pretty casual rider. I don't do any like super technical trails or anything like that, so pretty basic, but yeah, love the bike so far. Great value for, you know, less than the 600 that I paid for it, so not bad.